Hi, I'm Jeremy from Pink Orange. And I am Pat. Today, we are answering questions about what kind of vehicle we would use in hypothetical situations. Cue the intro. Not acrobatic stunts like Pat is thinking right now because he has Sip and Soleil in the head. <laughs> That's exactly what he's thinking about. It's like cars meet Sip Soleil. Anyways, um, I mean, it what all depends. What stunts would you perform? Yeah. I don't know. Like, I mean, what, like, what kind of, I don't know. Uh, what kind of car would do, like, a backflip in a movie or something? Would a be, like. CGI car. Today, nowadays, but before the era of CGI. Like, when they were actually doing practical effects. I don't know. What vehicle would you use to stunt? It all has to do with, like, your capacities. Like I could do some wheelies and jump some stuff, but I'm not really like the best stunter. But like, let's say I was jumping from building to building. I feel like a motorcycle would be best. Just, and like a dirt bike, just because I could jump off. Like if things go south, I could just like bail and just like, you go that way, I'm going to try to go this way. So I go with a uh, dirt bike. What kind of dirt bike? The one with wheels. What color is your dirt bike? White. <laughs> they... So is it a Suzuki or a Honda? Suzuki. You go with a Suzuki? Yep. So Pat would go with the shittiest dirt bike they make. Because I wouldn't feel bad about just chucking it off a building. Hear that? He owns a Suzuki? He doesn't like you. I do not say that. You are less than. Um, Everyday I mean, Machine would be your van. Because you love your van. I mean, Everyday Machine I mean, for me would be a pickup. Because the pickup is just practical. And that's what... I, and I mean, I like my minivan. I like my truck. They borrow my minivan all the time at work because, you know, no one ever borrows my truck because I won't let them. I, I, but I'm a nice person. All right, so um, th that's every day. Then sporty, I'm going motorcycle. Okay. If you want to experience speed, it's on a bike. It's two wheels. If I'm, uh, this, this, it, it, there's, if there's one vehicle, like if ever I get a bunch of money and there's one vehicle I could have, it would be like a 1984 Porsche 911. Does that? It would have been black. a clear 911. So you would want a 964 Porsche. Yes, because I saw it once at a Dairy Queen when I was in eighth grade, and that's the only car I've ever been like. You know what? I'd like that. That is a very good choice. Very difficult car to drive. You would put it in the ditch almost instantly, but uh, a cool car and classy. Although you could do your, your Porsche is classy. It is very uh, uh, classy. An old school Porsche is classy. A new school Porsche, a little douchey. I would drive one, but it's a little douchey. But uh, yeah, what would I do to be classy? I mean, like, are we going like Rolls Royce? No, I'd be like old school Duesenberg. You know what a Duesenberg is? It's from Germany. You know the expression, that's a doozy? Yeah. Comes from the Duesenberg because they were that rare. Really? They're from like the 20s and 30s. And they were like these super advanced cars. And even back in the day, they were like stupid money. Huh. They were like from the 20s. So like Nazi Germany car? That's what you would drive as classy? I would drive a Nazi Germany Duesenberg. I don't know if Duesenberg is actually German. Sounds German. Nazis is what I say. I agree. What machine would you use to drive to a funeral? And, like, be respectful. Your everyday car. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not... It, this This is not... You're tr from, not trying to make a statement. Yeah. You're not... It's not about you. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Don't show up to a funeral with a hearse. Don't try to liven up the party. No. It's pretty dead. It is. It's meant to be that way. Although, I mean, our dad said that we should play ACDC at his funeral... He also so, wants bagpipe players. So, you know. And river dance. So, He's yeah. He's a weird dude. Yeah, let's not bring him into the picture. One of those old school Bombardier, bombardier like the first so they're called, snowmobiles. Like, like the snowmobiles are the one that you go into. The one you go into. Like, so, that's a, either a B7 or a B12, depending that, on how many seats you want. You, they're kind of cool. That's what we saw in Newfoundland, remember? The red one? I don't remember. Anyways, I saw a short film uh, recently that that would be insanely slow. If I'm going around Canada in the winter time, 
You want to see the, you want to see the scenery. I would go with a jet. That would get it done pretty quick. But why? We live in a beautiful country. Why do you want to just like zip right through? I don't know. I'll get there. I'll snowmobile around, but the jet will do around. Probably by the time I go from like one end of the country to the other, winter's over. I mean, uh, at the pace that that machine can run, I just go north. First I just of all, go to none of it. First of all, you'd have to be a mechanic to maintain that thing for more than a thousand. I just bring a mechanic on board. Okay, jet versus B seven or B twelve. Thanks for watching. I'm Jeremy from Pink Orange. I'm Pat, and do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and especially leave comments. Let us know what kind of vehicle you would use in the hypothetical questions that we have been answering today. I forgot how to speak at the end of there, that sentence, because sometimes my French brain, it goes a bit.